Hello, good people of the internet. I am Cheshire Creeper, and I am a brownie. And as such, I feel it like it is my duty, nay, my destiny, to put out a review of the newest episode as of this writing, Do Princesses Dream of Magic Sheep? And remember, this is totally after the fact of the episode airing, but not before any critical responses come out from the analysis community. With that said, here we go! My Little Pony, My Little Pony, reviewing is something else. I don't really know, but this is spontaneous. Time to review an episode, maybe this is spontaneous. Oh no, a lyric sheet on oh, My Little Pony. Maybe review now. The episode starts with Luna greeting Tantabus and now turns into Nightmare Moon and Rainbow Power comes back. Just off the bat, I know the fandom will explode since it's Luna, Nightmare Moon, and Rainbow Power. And that's just in the intro alone. And also, Luna's dream ended happily! That cannot happen, or to put it in a meme way, that is the worst possible thing. Best Tannenbaugh Saint Germain impression I've ever seen or heard. We are at the Sleepless Ponyville meeting with all the pets after the theme. Yahoo! And we also have pet abuse for comedy. Jokes! And Winona looks cute for once! Ah, but we have pressing issues to deal with. Nightmares! And apparently all of the main six has had these nightmares too. Bill Cipher crossover? Nope, it's just Tantabus. Oh, and this dialogue in the beginning seems to be from a Scooby-Doo episode. Just something to note, good people of the reviewer's internet place interwebs, and also spike abuse, why writers? And we get an awesome cliffhanger from Rainbow Dash that draws more Scooby-Doo parallels. That sounds bad, really bad. And now to fanfic fuel. We have a sleepover, more information on Luna's powers, and we have the image that will set fanfics a buzz, which I can't show you because wikis are bad. Well, time to invade the dreams of every pony, throwing my thought that a battle between Bill Cipher and Luna would make an awesome battle to look at. But don't ship them. They are going to ship them now, aren't they? <sighs> Sigh. Where the dream is a whole bunch of dresses, and they turn into a don't starve monster, thanks to old Taint Bus. Picking's up next, and we see ADD at work, and Cake Monster! We are really getting into a don't starve area with this designs. And we also have Agent Angel Bunny. Yes! Woohoo! But the cute is quickly overpowered by what other people must see in Angel. And we also get another Don't Starve design. Or Bill Cipher's personal bet. I can't decide which. It still looks cute though. I love it. To death! We are back at the Dreamland at Bats. We are at the Applejack's Dream. And it's time for the drill to hit. And in your drought reference here as I don't want to date this video. And now we're at the pit of 100 trials with the changelings. Woohoo! Go Rainbow Dash! And skipping ahead, we have the best dream ever. G3 E.5 World! This is truly the most frightening thing ever. Thanks, Charles Tupper! We now have Twilight finishing the dream section. And we have Book Bats! Flutter Bat, go! Wow, I'm laying it thick with the memes and references, aren't I? And Luna says that there's more trouble on the horizon. As Pinky dreamt all of Ponyville citizens, meeting old Tainer Boss, could jump through their dreams. Whoops! 
Let's have fan service now in Dreamland. Do you believe in magic? Do you? Well, let's see Discord chaos unfold before our very eyes. We have Muffins, and Berry Punch, and Derpy, and Ship Fool, and Big Mac is a unicorn. Ah, the fanfics will stretch on for miles. Ah. Sir Tanner the Irish Leprechaun invades. And also more Don't Starve monster designs. Bribes from Filthy Rich. Flutterbat. Piranha Plants. Big Mac is the element of harmony. By the way, Applejack sign of You can do anything in a dream, remember? Reminds me of the Gravity Falls quote that goes something like You can create anything you perceive and sign Grunkles stands mindscape. This is Dipper's voice, totally. Ah, uh, memories. Let's continue, shall we? We have the sword of mystic power slice open the dream, but luckily we have the magic eraser to aid us in this quest. We also have Spike Dwight the Knight, which uses a different art style, kudos, thus making Derby the best ride ever. And Scoots gets on Ego on Tupperware and stop and stops him. However, that's not enough, as it seems Princess Luna's doubt is making the thing grow bigger. Thus, we reveal that the Tanner bus of Evo was Luna's creation, so she could be auto-punished in her dreams. Way to go, Luna. Way to go. The moral here is a real winner. If you feel bad and it's putting you down, you should just stop feeling bad. That's a real moral right there. That, that's, that's real. It's in reality. Right, so that's the primary lesson. The second lesson is that you shouldn't let your fears control you. I think. So, that was Do Princesses Dream of Magic Sheep? It didn't really answer the question, but oh well. I thought it was great and full of fan service. B plus? Maybe? I don't know, but maybe. I don't know how I scored these things. Anyway, this has been Cheshire Creeper signing off. And remember, I'm still here.